welcome. This is the Modern Geek Podcast. Coming at you live. Please subscribe through YouTube or Twitch. Hope you enjoy the show. Hey everybody, this is the Modern Geek, also known as Vant Mario, and we're going to be doing another unboxing today of one of the new wave Amiibos that came out just a few days ago. Um, please check out my other videos. You can check out our launch day video and our other unboxings of other Amiibos that came out that day. Um, specifically today, we're going to be unboxing... Ganondor. Um, and funny enough, I'm actually going to be unboxing a Japanese version of Ganondor. Um, I did get the, excuse me, uh, I did get the U.S. version of Ganondor. Um, so therefore, I'm going to keep that one boxed because I was able to get one. Um, but I figured I'd unbox the Japanese version. It's kind of cool because we get to see kind of the differences between the U.S. and imported ones and what those look like um awesome so um ganondor is one of the new smash brother amiibos uh in addition we also had for smash brothers um bowser jr dr mario zero suit samus uh olimar and ganondor and then on top of that we also had the 8-bit mario for mario maker come out on that day as well uh, so you can see, obviously, very, very, very clear. It's the Japanese version. Um, so that is Smash Brothers in dash, uh, Japanese. I think it translates to something slightly different. Um, box art is the same. So the box art that you see here and that is the same. Obviously, the Amiibo lo logo is the same. But funny enough, there is the Japanese equivalent of what Amiibo, I guess, means. Um, which is kind of funny. So kind of cool. Nintendo's there as well. Um, now, what's also unique about the Japanese ones is, funny enough, in Japan, they've actually had these figures much longer than we have. So, um, little known fact, every Smash Brothers Amiibo is actually already in Japan. Um, they pretty much have had all of them, or they're much further ahead. Um, as far as the other titles, I think some of those titles were dropped in Japan, or as the U.S. releases much later. Because... Um, as most people are not always aware, um, Japan is actually their primary market. We're actually a secondary market. Um, so that's why Japan usually gets um, a lot of the collector's editions and some of the other more exclusive stuff, whereas the US doesn't always get that. Um, pretty cool. Um, where you're gonna see the biggest difference is gonna be when we flip it over for the back. So you can see there, they sort of spell out a little differently what this thing does um so i'm assuming that this just means there's like mysterious things meaning if you just try to put it on other titles it may do different stuff i'm assuming the green or special um is probably special ability then the red i think is their way of saying that you can play as it at an npc in the game and then the blue is their leveling up or um improvement kind of thing what's cool too is obviously you'll notice they have on theirs a white Wii uh, Wii U gamepad because obviously they have some color variations for the system that we don't have there's some other writing which we don't have there so meaning usually the stuff that's I think on the bottom they actually put it over here um, and then obviously the in-game art looks a little I, that should be the same in-game art this is a little bit more laid out differently and then we actually have the character and some other statistics there. So I can't read this to you, obviously, but it's cool to look at. So again, cool that there is a variation. Uh, and just for the sake of this video, figured we would take a look at the US version and we can actually do a little comparison to see some stuff but um, through the US packaging so pretty much the same but you'll see of course we have the black gamepad because we only have the black system here in the States uh, and a little bit more different layout on how we're describing that but you can see Pretty similar. A few more flashy stuff on that one. A 
figure wise they are exactly the same there is an extra piece of documentation in the Japanese one huh yeah so as I say uh, figure wise they're the same there's no real variation or difference um, besides like I said there is a piece of paper you can see on the bottom of this one which is kind of cool And I'm wondering, I wonder if there's another difference, let's see. All right, cool, without further ado, let's get this sucker unboxed. Uh -huh. Nope, I see that's still there too. Okay. So here is Ganondor slightly out of package. Now, even on the Japanese versions, they have that foil on there preventing you from uh, being able to put this on in box. So you do still have to take even these out of the box to play with them if you want to. Amiibos are always really easy to get out. Um, Right off the bat, one thing I really love about the Ganondor figure is he's really big. So, I like the fact that he's a very big, well, let's just get a really big, whoa, round basis. He's a really, really big character, which is pretty cool. The detail on him, oh my god. So, my camera is, not of course, not going to show this to you. If you guys can see, there's literally, like, a little emblem on the back of his head. Like, the detail on this figure is ridiculous. I mean, all of the armor, all of the embroidering. I mean, just ridiculous. The level of detail they put on this figure. So, I mean, that's just awe-inspiring right there. Really, really cool. Um, in general, I mean, all of the Zelda characters have been really, really cool. Um, and they've done an amazing job with them. Ganondorf is going to be, as always, I always love the villains. I'm a villain fanatic. He's probably going to be one of the display ones because I just love his figure. I love how he is. It's really awesome. And I can't wait to see what happens with Mario Maker when I use him because um, it is said that... When you put a non uh, a Smash Brothers amiibo on Mario Maker, I think you get to play as that sprite uh, in your level, which is pretty cool. Um, and I'm looking forward to trying that out. Uh huh. No, Ganondorf, don't break. Yeah, I mean, even oh, did I actually break it? Nope, that's just mine has a defect. Interesting. So mine has a defective hand. All right. Interesting. I thought Ganondor wore a ring. All right, I guess he doesn't. And then you can even see they have all this nice stuff on the cape. I mean, so much detail. And of course, Smash Bros, Smash Brothers, because it has a gold base, so you know it's from their franchise. Pretty awesome, but again, love it. Um, I love figures that are just figures. Um, because Ganondor had a pretty boring trophy in the game, so he makes for a really nice figure. Um, so that's pretty cool. Awesome, well thank you guys for watching. Uh, please let me know in the comments what you think. Um, were you running around during launch day like me, trying to grab all these Amiibos? Um, what's your favorite of the new wave? What are you having fun playing with? Um, you know, let me know. And, uh, again, the only way to see these videos is to subscribe to my channel. Um, you can subscribe through YouTube. Uh, that'll be under Vant Mario. You can check us out on Twitch for live gameplay, um, and live commentary as we play. Um, and check out our Facebook page where you can check out just general news on all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and I'm, and obviously stay tuned to the channel because we'll be having, LEGO Dimensions, the new Skylanders game, uh, all the new games coming out, uh, some reactions and reviews of those things as well. So take care, guys. Until the next time I see you.